um, today um, I will try to explain how to create a virtual environment on your machine or if you want to start a new project how do you create a virtual environment so you can install your packages into your virtual environment um, without further ado let's get started first you need to create a new folder on your machine that will contain your project i've already created so once you create a new folder and this is where um, your virtual environment and every other project files that you are dealing with will be stored now to create a virtual environment there are three stages first i will explain how you will create this virtual environment so i uh, will just do main dot py so there are three types of m and then there is virtual environment which is vm which is denoted as v E N V and then the risk conda. So I will explain the two. So pip is a is is for you to is a package installer for Python. So it allows you to install different packages. Whereas um V is a virtual VMV is a virtual environment that allows you to manage those packages you've installed with pip why conda on the other hand is a is a package manager for both your package installation and also manages your environment so for example if you are working on data science project or data you are a data scientist it's much more appropriate for you to use conda because you will reduce the level of um, discrepancies or the level of um, errors you run into when you are installing some packages for for your data science project such as NumPy, SciPy and um, uh, Pandas and etc and stuff like that. So I would recommend you use Conda if you are a data scientist. But for the others, uh, we will suggest you use um, Vive which, is, which allows you to manage your packages installed with um, with your uh, with your Python, which allow you to manage your Python packages and also set up a virtual environment for you. So in VS Code, in VS Code, you can manage your virtual environment automatically by just um, going to um, search, and you can create you can create your virtual environment straight from um, from from VS type environment. Uh, it's supposed to show you all the environments you will need or if you want to create a new environment just click create environment so i will for this purpose for this purpose of this tutorial i will create a an environment so you can see it gives me two it gives me two options either i want to create a vmv or i want to create conda so vmv is a virtual environment in my you can use vmv in this current workspace or i can create it through conda so for the purpose of this, I will create a virtual VIV environment. So once you select that, the next thing you need to do then is to select your Python interpreter. At the times of at the time of re this recording, um, my latest Python version is three point twelve point four. So you can select your latest Python version as at then, or if you are running a project that require you to go back in time with the back with your with previous Python package, uh, Python uh, with Pyth with previous Python versions, you can go back and select the previous Python versions you that require for that particular project. But for the purpose of this, I will select um, Python three point the latest version. So once I select that, um, automatically it should create a virtual environment for me in my current environment. So if I go back to my folder, you will see a dot vm file uh, dot vm folder that has been created for you. Um, activate the environment. Sometimes the environment doesn't activate automatically. You need to act activate that by yourself, or sometimes it activates automatically. So then, if I come here, I can see that this has been activated automatically for me. So I'm now in the virtual. So if you would like to create the uh, the virtual environment manually um you can do that by typing python 3 dash m 
virtual environment name and dot env so once you do this this should be able to create a virtual environment in this your folder as i run that the environment has been created automatically if you are using um, a debian os um, some some mac os use De uh, debian if you're using debian os you might need to um, install the uh, python 3 env and um, you can do search that and see um, leave a comment below if you want me to do a video on how to make sure your Debian OS um, install your virtual environment successfully. Um, in our next video, uh, we'll talk you through how to configure your VS Code so you can use um, autocomplete on your VS Code. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. and um, you can google search that and see um leave a comment below if you want